Did you know that the African continent is home to some of the most diverse and intriguing cuisines in the world? Let's dive right in. Picture a mosaic of vibrant cultures, each with its own unique blend of tastes, scents, and textures. Each piece of this mosaic represents a different African country, and each country brings to the table its own distinct culinary traditions. From the windswept deserts of North Africa to the verdant jungles of Central Africa, from the bustling cities of West Africa to the serene coastlines of East Africa, food plays a central role in defining and expressing culture. Africa's culinary diversity is a testament to the continent's rich history, its interactions with different cultures, and the resourcefulness of its people. The continent's cuisine is characterized by a unique blend of spices, a variety of cooking methods, and the use of locally available ingredients. Whether it's a hearty stew, a spicy curry, a flavorful roast or a sweet treat, every dish tells a story of the people who made it and the land they come from. In this culinary journey, we'll be visiting 10 different African countries, each with its own unique and sometimes unusual delicacies. Kick off your shoes, loosen your belt and prepare your taste buds for an adventure like no other. We'll be delving into the spicy, the sweet, the savory, and yes, even the downright strange. From Ethiopia's distinct delicacies to Senegal's seafood surprises, from the DR Congo's caterpillar crunch to Egypt's fermented fish feast, and finally to South Africa's exotic mopane worms. These dishes may seem unusual to some, but they are a testament to the creativity and resourcefulness of African cultures. Every dish has a reason for being, whether it's born out of necessity, a product of the environment, or simply a cherished tradition passed down through the generations. Now that we've set the scene, Let's explore some of the most unusual foods from across this vibrant continent. Starting off in Ethiopia, where raw meat is a delicacy, the dish, known as kitfo, has a special place in the hearts of Ethiopians. Kitfo is typically made from high-quality beef, minced and warmed in a pan with a touch of spicy butter and chili. This dish is traditionally served raw, much like steak tartare, but it can also be lightly cooked for those less adventurous. Kitfo isn't just a random weekday dinner choice, it's a dish savored on special occasions, from weddings to religious holidays. It's a testament to the rich and diverse Ethiopian culture, where food is not just about sustenance, but also about community, celebration, and tradition. The custom of eating raw meat in Ethiopia might seem unusual to outsiders, but it's just one of the many ways in which the country's culinary practices differ from the Western norm. From the highlands of Ethiopia, we now journey to the coastal regions of Senegal. In Senegal, they have a unique twist on seafood called yassa fish. This isn't your everyday fish dish, folks. What makes yassa fish stand out is its marination process. The fish is bathed in a concoction of citrus and onions for hours, allowing it to absorb a tangy, zesty flavor that's truly unparalleled. This marination process is not just for flavor, mind you. The citrus helps to break down the fish, making it incredibly tender and easy to eat. And the onions? They add an aromatic sweetness that complements the citrus beautifully. But yassa fish is more than just a delicious meal. It's a symbol of Senegalese culture, a dish that brings families together, and a testament to the country's rich coastal bounty. It's a dish that's savored, shared, and celebrated. So next time you're craving seafood, why not give yassa fish a try? You might just find your new favorite dish. Leaving the coast behind, we venture into the heart of Africa, to the Democratic Republic of Congo. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, a crunchy caterpillar is a much-loved snack. Yes, you heard it right, these aren't your regular garden-variety caterpillars, but a special breed known as the Mopane caterpillar. This delicacy is not just about its exotic appeal, it's a potent package of nutrition too. Rich in protein, calcium, and iron, these caterpillars provide essential nutrients in a region where such elements can sometimes be hard to come by. Now, let's talk about how these tiny creatures are turned into a crispy treat. The process is simple yet fascinating. The caterpillars are first boiled, then salted and sun-dried. This process not only enhances their flavor but also acts as a natural preservative, allowing them to be stored for long periods. Once ready, they can be fried until crunchy and served as a snack or a side dish. As we leave the Congo Basin, we find ourselves in the land of the pharaohs, Egypt. In Egypt, fasik, a fermented fish dish, is a must-have during certain celebrations. In the bustling markets of Cairo, you'll find merchants preparing this unique delicacy. The process begins with the catch of the day, a type of mullet fish. The fish are then cleaned, salted, and left to ferment in large wooden barrels for up to several weeks. 
As you can imagine, the fermentation process gives way to a robust aroma, a testament to the dish's intense flavor. It's an acquired taste, but for many Egyptians, fasik is a cherished tradition, a taste of heritage. This fermented fish feast is often the star of the show during the spring festival of Sham el Nasim, a holiday that dates back to ancient times. It's a time for families to come together, relish in the rich, pungent flavor of fasik, and celebrate the coming of spring. From North Africa, we now head down to the southern tip of the continent, to South Africa. In South Africa, mopane worms are not just a survival food, but a delicacy enjoyed across the country. Let's journey into South Africa's vibrant culinary scene. Here, the humble mopane worm, also known as the emperor moth caterpillar, is a beloved treat. These fat, juicy worms are named after the mopane tree, their preferred habitat and primary food source. Harvesting these wriggly creatures is a labor-intensive process, typically carried out by women and children. The worms are plucked from the mopane trees during the rainy season, when they are at their plumpest. The harvesters then squeeze out their innards before boiling them in salted water. Once cooked, they're sun-dried to preserve them, transforming the once squirming caterpillars into a crunchy, protein-rich snack that can be stored for months. Now, you might be wondering, what do these worms taste like? Well, the flavor is often compared to that of chicken, with a hint of earthy undertones. Their texture, however, is truly unique. When rehydrated and cooked, they regain a certain plumpness, offering a satisfying crunch followed by a meaty chewiness. Mopane worms are more than just a tasty snack. They're also a vital source of income for rural communities. The worms are harvested in bulk, packaged, and sold in local markets, or exported to other African countries. This thriving trade provides a significant boost to the local economy, making the Mopane worm a symbol of sustenance and survival. In the kitchen, these worms are incredibly versatile. They can be stewed, fried, or grilled, and are often served with pap, a traditional cornmeal porridge. Whether it's a simple home-cooked meal or a gourmet dish in a high-end restaurant, Mopane worms add a unique flavor and texture that is distinctly South African. So, there you have it. A dive into the world of Mopan worms, a curious delicacy that reflects the resourcefulness and resilience of South African cuisine. We've journeyed across Africa, tasting some of the most unusual foods. Each dish, while strange to some, is a testament to the diverse cultures and traditions of this vast continent. As we wrap up our culinary journey, let's revisit the intriguing foods we've discovered. From Ethiopia's raw meat tradition, a testament to the people's love for freshness, to Senegal's seafood surprise, showing their coastal influence and abundant marine resources. We've also explored the DR Congo's Caterpillar Crunch, a protein-rich delicacy that supports local economies, and Egypt's fermented fish feast, a historical dish that showcases the nation's ancient food preservation techniques. Lastly, we ventured into South Africa's exotic Mopan worms, a sustainable food source that's not only nutritious, but also a significant part of their cultural heritage. Each of these dishes, strange as they may seem to some, tells a tale of the people, their environment, and their traditions. They are a testament to the diversity and richness of African cuisine, a true kaleidoscope of flavors. So next time you're feeling adventurous, why not try one of these unusual African delicacies? You might just discover a new favorite.